Hey guys, welcome to Review Radar. In this video, I will show you how to connect PS5 controller to PC. So, PS5 controller is also known as Dual Sense, and the way we are going to be doing this uh, in this video is by just downloading a piece of software that is just simply amazing. I've been using this software for many years, for at least five years, I would say. It's super nice. It's got all the customizations you want from a controller. You can rebind your keys in any way you want. It's just a, an amazing piece of software, which is also free. And I can tell you honestly, if it was paid, I would pay for it. It's just so good. All right, so the software is called DS for Windows. Let's go ahead and download a application to our computer. So just make sure that you don't go to this website and instead you go to GitHub. And from GitHub, you just go to releases. As you can see, the home page already has the releases. It's something that we want. And basically download the latest version 3.3.3. So just make sure to download this archive 7-zip or just zip file. Make sure it's x64 so that it matches your Windows version. And then just unpack the program in any folder you want. Okay, and after that, make sure to launch the application. As you can see, my dual sense is already working, but I will run you through all the steps to perform in the beginning. So the first time you launch this application, you will not have this screen. You will have this screen instead, the controller driver setup. And basically in here, you need to make sure to install the VG Emboss driver. This is the first thing you should do. After that, you want to also install Hit Hide Driver. What's this for and why it's optional? Sometimes, basically what happens when you connect your controller uh, to this program, there's such thing as exclusivity mechanic that is actually working in this program. So sometimes your Windows operating system takes the control and access of your controller and gives it to a certain application. And that's not something we want to do. We want our connection in DS for Windows for our dual sense to be exclusive. As you can see, exclusive, you see here, exclusive access. This means that it works correctly and the way it's supposed to be. If the access is not going to be exclusive, you can actually run into issues. For example, if you log in into Steam, right? And Steam already has inbuilt support for the dual sense and dual shock 4 and Xbox controllers, whatever and you will basically have a conflict. So DS for Windows tells you that you have a certain, for example, profile that does certain things. And, and Steam also tells you, okay, no, I'm telling what to do. I'm telling your controller what to do. So basically, if you have the exclusive access in here, this means that the entire access of your controller is maintained by DS for Windows. And that's something we want. And basically this little driver actually helps us to uh, fix all of those issues. So just make sure to install this one. Also, depending on what OS you're on, I noticed that I have less uh, issues with exclusivity of my controller on Windows 10. So if you're on Windows 11, I would say installing this head height driver is almost mandatory. So keep that in mind. And after you've installed this application, you've installed all the drivers, you need to reboot your computer, and after that, the very important thing to do again is you need to go to device options and make sure that you turn on the dual sense controller support. If you do not click this, this program will just basically not work for you and your controller will not be recognized. This is a thing that is overlooked by so many people and they're just going on forums uh, talking about how the controller doesn't work, it's not connecting. So this is what you have to do. And if you have a dual shock 4 controller, which we will actually do a separate tutorial for, uh, the same thing applies. So just make sure you click dual sense control support in here, 100%. This is mandatory. And after that, just connect your controller through wire or wirelessly. As you can see, mine is working wirelessly. This is wireless connection, Bluetooth connection. And basically make sure you press on the start button here and it should automatically pick up. Also in the settings, make sure you press on high DS4 controller, run on startup, uh, also quick charge and close minimizers and start minimized. Do not touch anything on this right, or should I say metal pane in here. You don't need to enable any of the stuff in here. And this is basically the installation, guys. I don't think I've overlooked anything. It's 
this application is very simple to use and after you've done it basically you need to create profiles so it's up to you what you want to do so just click on create new and you can just basically bind all the various buttons uh, to your controller but I suggest of course using the native ones so for example as you can see I have a lot of um, my own profiles in here so for example I have Xbox in here right so then go to edit and as you can see you can just choose any button and you can assign that button to any button on your controller or you can even emulate your keyboard so you can basically turn your controller into a mouse and keyboard if that's what you want to do and if you want to also check if the controller works just go ahead and click on controller readings and as you can see I'm now touching my uh, control sticks and it's recognized just fine the gyroscope works as well L2 R2 L2 buttons work perfectly fine nothing is wrong with it whatsoever everything's working perfectly analog sticks buttons everything works so that's basically the tutorial guys thank you for watching if this helped like the video subscribe to review radar leave a comment about your experience with this program and i'll see you in the next one